Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Friday, January 28th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, lots of great stuff are at fountainchurchtallahassee.org. And join us every Sunday at 1030 a.m. for worship. We'd love to have you. My scripture today is Isaiah 43, verse 7. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. This is the word of the Lord. Well, you know how popular DNA tests are today. Uh, 23andMe and other websites tout their genetic background uh, products that allow you to find out a lot of information about you, about your family, and about relatives. Maybe even relatives you didn't know you have. <laughs> well, did you know that by taking one of those DNA tests, you could put a relative in jail. <laughs> That's right, it's already happened multiple times across the United States. When there has been a crime and there is DNA on the scene, but it doesn't pair with any DNA on record, Someone gets a DNA test. Now, they aren't the one in jeopardy, but their DNA is matched familially to many folks. And so, if they find that your DNA is pretty similar to some they have on hand, they'll start investigating your family. And perhaps one of your relatives was already in their scope of inquiry, but there was nothing directly to tie them. Now there is. Well, what does this mean? Should you be careful? Well, I should think so. But also remember that these tests don't necessarily answer all the questions you would want them to answer. They can't tell you exactly where your family came from, they can only tell you that people with similar DNA came from here or there. And if you have someone that is a relative you didn't know about, it may pair you up, but it may not. Did you know that there were identical twins who received DNA results that told one of them they were from one country and one from another? Well, I want you to know that God knows who you are. You were formed and shaped by the hand of Almighty God, and your DNA matters to the Master. You are a child of God, and I want you to know that if you open God's Word and approach it prayerfully, you will discover your roots your roots of faith, your roots that tie you to a Jesus Christ that loves you, saves you, and offers you the riches of eternity. And remember, by faith, you are in no jeopardy except insofar as you would lose your former self and become filled with new life, new love, and new blessings. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that we already know our DNA. We are children of God, brothers and sisters of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.